Hello and welcome to basic Linux course. Now this is the fourth section of the course and we are in the second part of the Linux fundamental section. Okay. Here we'll learn about permission, ownership, file permission and ownership and permissions on the directory. We'll first uh, look through some theory part and then we'll turn into the terminal to try some of them. Okay. Let's get started. In Linux, there are three permissions, read, write, and execute, and they are represented as read, write for W, and execute for X, okay? Uh, in read permission, we just remember four read, and two for write, and one for execute as well. We'll talk about this later. If a file have a read permission, or if a user have a read permission on a file, he or she can read the content of that file, the data in the file and for the directory the user can list the name the user can read the name of name contains name of the contents in the directory okay and for a write permission the user can modify the data in the file and for the directory the user can edit remove and alter the files in the files and directory in the directory okay and execute permission if a user have executed permission on the file and if the file is binary it can be executed and for the directory uh, the user can get passed through the data and learn, learn more about the data okay uh, it, it pass the process may pass through the directory to assess the inner number and contain of the item and items named in the directory okay with execute permission, we can learn about the file size, the user, the owner of the content in the directory again. Okay? Now we will look through this next again. Okay? And in, in the ownership, Linux is a multi-user system. So uh, the system can be used by multiple user at once. And to identify the user, we have the user system. There are three kinds of owner in the system the user, the group, and the other. User is the owner of the file. The user who created the file will be the owner of the file, the user of the file. And the group, a group consists of several users. And a user is a part of certain group or groups. Okay. A group, a user can have a primary group. And the primary group will be used. Uh, whenever a user create a file, the file will belong to the user who created it. And to the group, the primary group of the user, okay? And other, all other users in the system, these are not the user and not in the group, okay? Uh, with this command, we can list the users in the system and with this command, it is a slash group, we can list the groups in the system. With id command, we can list the id, uh, we can list the user id user and group ids of the user with id dash username we can do the same for the username okay have more permissions and ownership uh, of file have three different set of permissions okay a file will have three different set of permissions we know there are three permissions and there are three set of source permission for each file okay so each set of permission for a user for a group and other okay a linux file has three set of three units permission so there will be total nine permissions in total okay with ls dash l we can list the permission of the file and this represents the permission of the file okay here is the detail i'll share the blog post and you you should have a look on this the first part is for the user, second part is for the group, and third part is for the other, other, okay, and we can modify the permission of the file with chmod command, and the mode, the, the chmod command will work on symbolic mode as well as absolute mode, and permissions on the directory, and I have talked about these here, and you may have to look more on this as well okay so let's just have a look at this now uh, let's move on to the terminal okay now i'm in the public public directory of the route 
and the public file have all read, write, and execute, read, write, and execute, and read, write, and execute for all the user, but it was created by the root user again. Now I'm logging here as well. Let's look inside the CD and I have another user in the system. Let's switch to that user. Now I'm logging as Novaraz here and I'm logging as the protagonist. Okay. Okay, let me make a file here. If we LSSL here, we know that the file belongs to the Porta and it also belongs to the Deporta group. Mm -hmm. And it has read and write permission for the user and the, for the group but it had read permission only read permission for the for other okay now if we try to cat the test file there is nothing and similarly for number as if we try to cat there is nothing okay let's try to add some content with the dev product because he is the owner of the file he has the right write permission as well he can write Okay, if we cat it now, then we should see the content here. And similarly, for numerals, if we cat it, we will see the content. But uh, since the numerals is not in this, it is not the user and not the not in the group at all. See, the numerals is not in that group. We don't have the right permission here permission for the user let's let's try to write here but we'll say the file test is unreturnable okay because we don't have the permission to write in the file okay now if we want the novaraz to write on this file as well we can use search memory search memory and the novaraz is other so other is equal to read write okay and test this is the symbolic mode head assign the permission read write to other okay if we hit write and ls as la now we can see the user group and owner have now have the read and write permission Okay, so if I have now the user Novaraz can write to this file as well. And I can verify that with okay. the user can write on this file as well. Okay, there is uh, the with symbolic mode, you can change mode of the file with let's change uh let's make all uh, the let's modify our user group and other uh, they should have just free permission and do something like this also. okay we have to provide the file name okay check this now all the users have read permission okay and so we can modify this with the let's uh, change mode have another option let's add or subtract the permission let's change mode other minus means remove the uh, read permission okay on the test file and there is for other remove minus read okay if we restart the other should not have any permission again okay. similarly we can Add read and write for the other. Here you go. And similarly, we can do that for user and group. Here we go. Okay, in this way, we can modify the permissions of the file. And for the absolute more, uh, we can change the permission with. 
CF memory, the numeric representation, 777, okay? And that's like that. If we want the user to have, if we want the user to have read permission, we'll assign four. If we want the user to have read and write permission, we'll assign four plus two, six. If we want the user to have read, write, and execute permission, we will assign four, have six plus one, seven. Okay. Like the first, first, first part is for the user, second part is for the group, and third part is for other. Okay. So uh, let's change the permission of the test so that the user have read, write, and execute permission, and uh, and the group have just to read permission. That is pro and. Let's make the uh, other have just execute permission that is one. Okay. And that is the PST. Okay. If we can uh, list the content, we can see the user have read, write, and execute permission. And the uh, group have read permission. And other have just the ex execute permission. Okay. Similarly, if you want the group to have read and write. Read is four plus two six, and other to have read and write. We can do something like this. Okay. Okay. Just the other have four. Four means the read. Okay. Now the user have read, write, and execute. And the group has read, write only, and the other have read and read permission. Okay. If we want this file to be open, so all have the read, write, and execute permission, we can do change mode 777. Now check the permission. You know that the uh, user have read, write, execute permission, the group have read, write, and execute permission, and similarly, other have read, write, and execute permission. Okay, this may seem complex and but after this video and going through this blog post you get the concept of it just give it a try uh, see you on the next video thank you